Hey everyone, okay, so today I'm gonna to be showing you how to get a gorgeous, glamorous, absolutely flawless look using the new By Terry Hyaluronic Hydro Powders. Now they come in both tinted and translucent formulas and they can be used for setting your makeup, for subtle contouring and bronzing, and even highlighting the skin. Now they come in eight different shades, so no matter what your skin tone, you're covered. Now these are non-drying powders and they give you a flawless filtered effect to the skin which is truly stunning and has to be seen to be believed. Now these control shine and are completely weightless on the skin. So keep watching and I'll show you how to get the gorgeous soft glamorous look you're about to see. Now you may need to change your audio volumes ever so slightly as I'll be filming a voiceover. Thank you so much. So I'm prepping the skin and the first thing I'm going to be using is the By Terry Brightening CC Serum. And this is a beautiful product to prep the skin with. It gives the optical illusion of light in the face. And it's one of the few products that actually works under and over foundation. Okay, so now we're going to contour and highlight. So I'm going to highlight the skin and I'm highlighting the skin anywhere I want there to be light. So any areas that I want to move forward or come towards us. So this will give a brightening effect. So underneath the eyes, down the bridge of the nose, the forehead, the chin, anywhere you want light to be reflected. Now we're going to add dimension to the face also. And I'm going to be using a warm color here and I'm applying it around the cheekbone area, a little bit around the temples, and of course, down the sides of the nose. The point of this is to build dimension in the face. We're not truly contouring and highlighting, we're adding a gorgeous glow to the skin. So next I'm gonna be using my fingers and I'm gonna to start to blend this concealer in. And I'm doing this so that when we layer the foundation on top, it looks like it's coming from within the skin, that it's coming from the skin, that it's not sitting on top. So I like to shear things out with my fingers, blend things out, and then we can go over with foundation after this step. So next we're gonna use foundation, and I'm using the Airbrush Flawless Foundation by Charlotte Tilbury, and I'm using this in a stippling effect. So I'm stippling it over the areas that we contoured and highlighted. This allows the foundation to very subtly blend in any of those areas that we just applied. And this gives the most realistic, beautiful look, that lit from within look, where the, the face feels like it's got dimension, where it has this beautiful glow to it. So make sure you just stipple directly over the areas you applied your contouring and highlighting, and you'll get a beautiful effect. So next we're going to set the foundation. Now I'm going to be using the By Terry Hyaluronic Hydro Powder. And this is a beautiful powder that contains hyaluronic acid. So it keeps that moisture in the skin while setting the foundation, while giving you a poreless, flawless effect to the skin. And it helps to maintain optimum moisture levels. And I'm going to apply this all over the face. And I can be really generous with the amount used here so that the skin looks completely airbrushed and flawless. And because of that hyaluronic acid in this powder, it's never drying, it's never cakey, it never sits into any fine lines, it just glides on beautifully. Now the skin is set, I'm now going in with the new By Terry Hyaluronic Tinted Hydra Powder. Now these come in various tints, there's eight shades, and I'm using shade medium, and I'm buffing this really lightly around the outside perimeters of the face. I just wanna add a little bit more warmth to the skin. And because this powder is so finely milled, it's never gonna catch into anything. So I can really layer these products without fear of caking. And I'm just going around the outside perimeter and I'm gonna to continue to build up color until I'm happy with the result. So next I'm going in with the By Terry Brightening CC Powder, which is an illuminating powder and it is the most, it gives the most beautiful glow to the skin. Now this is the powder version of the iconic Brightening CC Serum. And this has illuminating particles, so anywhere you place it, the skin starts to glow. So I'm applying this to the top of the cheekbones to really lift them and give them that gorgeous sunny glow. Now the Brightening CC powder comes in four different shades, so I'm now gonna use the lightest shade, which is Immaculate Light. And I'm gonna apply this to the inner area of the eye. And this is going to open up the eye and make it look more beautiful and awake. And I'm also going to use this on the cupid's bow and down the nose just slightly to really illuminate and lift those areas. 
Now Jacinta's brows are perfect and I really don't want to do much to them so I'm very lightly going through the brows with a brow pencil but very very lightly I'm just enhancing what is already there. I don't want the brows to look too over groomed for this look. Next up is eyeshadow. So I'm starting with the lightest color and this is a gold and I'm going to apply this all over the eyelids. This is the area that I want to sparkle and glisten which is why I'm using this gold shade because it goes with this soft glam look that we're going for. So run this shade all over the mobile part of the eyelid. A quick curl of the lashes, then we're going to apply mascara. Now I like to apply mascara in very, very thin layers. So I'm going to start with a very, very thin layer of mascara, applying it to the lashes, then we're going to move on to the second stage of eyeshadow. Next we're going to start with the contouring of the eye. So I'm taking a brush and I'm moving the contour shade into the crease of the eye, starting from the outside corner and moving it in. And then I'm going to connect that shade to the bottom lash line. So taking a slightly smaller brush, I'm running that exact same shade under the lower lash line and connecting it at the outside corner before we blend. And you just want to make sure that that very outside eye is connected from top to bottom. And again, the same thing on the other side, starting in the crease, following the eye shape, I'm creating that depth, then I'm going to connect it on the outside corner and run it underneath the eye. Now with a clean eyeshadow brush, start to blend those lines, both upper and lower, circle motions back and forward, just blend out that shadow to soften any hard edges. Now we're going to follow up with our second coat of mascara, again a very, very light layer. We do this to build up length and drama without any fear of clumping. Taking a deep shade now, we're going to contour that outside corner of the eye to give it that dark, sultry effect, but still keeping it within that soft, glam look that we're going for. So just by darkening this outside corner and, of course, connecting it on the outside corner, you're going to give the eyes a beautiful lift and add a subtle dimension, which looks gorgeous. And whatever we do on one eye, we repeat on the other. So just darkening that outside corner, going slightly into the crease and making sure you connect it on that outside corner. Now for a pop of color, we're just gonna add a small amount of blusher high up on the cheekbone area, just over that brightening CC powder for that ultimate glow. Now I'm gonna move back to the By Terry Hyaluronic Hydra Powder, and I'm just gonna use this as a baking product. So I'm gonna apply a heavy amount just underneath the cheekbone going directly to the lip. I'm gonna leave this on the skin for a little bit. Because of the, again, because of the properties of this powder, it's never drying, so I can add an extra amount and an extra layer without any fear of it making the face look very dry or chalky, which a lot of powder can do. This also acts as a really good way to define the cheekbone area by lightening just under it when we brush this off, the cheeks look absolutely amazing. So now I'm gonna line the lips and I'm gonna line the lips around the entirety of the mouth and I'm following the natural shape of the lips. So there's no overdrawing here. And I'm gonna darken the outside corners of the lip as well to give a 3D effect, which you'll see in a moment. Now I'm gonna add a touch of concealer to the bottom lip and Jacinta's gonna press her lips together to move that product around then we'll be applying lipstick over this and you'll get that 3D effect. Taking your lipstick, I'm going to apply it with a lip brush. I'm applying it all over the entire lip, going over that concealer and slightly over the lip liner. This will give you that 3D lip that we were talking about where the inner portion of the lip is slightly lighter and it gives a very beautiful pouty effect. Now with a brush, I'm just going to very lightly dust off that under cheek area. Next is the final coat of mascara and you're going to apply this and you can use a little bit extra for this final coat. Because we've used so many mini layers, we're never going to clump and it's going to look fabulous. A touch of gloss to that bottom lip just for extra poutiness. Now I'm going to go back in and I'm going to be using both a big brush and a small brush and using the Hyaluronic Tinted Hydra Powder. And I'm just applying this over the skin very lightly and I'm using Apricot Light, which is a brightening powder. It's so beautiful on the skin. Then I'm going to take a smaller brush and just very lightly go underneath the eye to just further polish and blur the skin. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I think this is a beautiful, glowing, soft glam look, and I really hope you like it. All the information on all the products is in the description bar. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.